everyone. Now I'm outside today because I'm going to do a packet capture on this Raspberry Pi remotely using TCP dump on the Raspberry Pi but Wireshark on the computer inside. So I'll throw this in the yard here and uh, go back inside and do the capture. Right, according to my YouTube statistics, most of the viewers are in America and Europe, which means it's probably getting cold where you are. But I can tell you that down here, it is bloody hot. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to put this Raspberry Pi in the garden here somewhere and uh, access it remotely. Just put it in the shade here, and that'll do. Okay, I burned my damn feet out there, but that's right. Back inside here now, under the uh, solar-powered aircon, I'll uh, get comfortable and do that remote packet capture here. Okay, for this to work, you've got to have TCP dump installed on the remote host and also have SSH access to it with root without password using SSH keys. Um, I've done a video on how to set up remote SSH keys if you want to look at that. But assuming you've got um, access to it, we'll just start with the basics of how, how you might normally do it with just TCP dump. So normally you might just go SSH, connect to it with SSH. And then you can do TCP dump right there. Now, if I run that, this SSH session is part of that. So I'm just going to say uh, not TCP port 22. Okay, just to not capture SSH. Otherwise, it'll, it'll just get out of control. So you can see the stuff coming in there, right? But what I want to do is instead of putting that output to the screen, I want to send it to Wireshark here. Well, if you do the normal TCP dump, you can actually write that to a file. Okay. Now it's doing a TCP dump capture out there and writing to a file. And sure, you can transfer that file over to here and open it up in Wireshark, but that's not the aim of this video. So I'll stop that. So you can see it captured four packets there that it would have put in that file. But this, this part here, this uh, W flag, that means to write to a file. But what you can do is just do a dash there and that will write it to stand it out. But that's not the whole uh, command that I'm going to be using. I'll exit from that Raspberry Pi and just come back to the host here that I'm running this from. Now from here, I've got a command that I'll show you and I'll go through the components of it. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to SSH as root to that host. Then I'm going to run. Here's the command that I'm running on the Raspberry Pi. TCP dump. Now, that dash capital U, that just means it buffers it by packet. So when there's a packet, it'll send it down the line rather than waiting till its buffer's full. So you want that for live analysis. And writing, remember I wrote to a file a minute ago. What I'm actually doing now is writing to the standard output, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'll come back to this in a minute. What I'm gonna do is pipe that output to Wireshark, which I'll run locally here. And that dash K is a Wireshark flag that just means start capturing immediately when you start Wireshark. And for the input, we're using standard in. Okay, so basically we're passing it directly to Wireshark here. This here is a capture filter that I'll run on um, TCP dump out there, just so that this host, which is this IP address here, and TCP port 22, which is SSH. So these two here, have to match um, and then it won't won't capture them. That means I can capture TCP port 22 stuff as long as it's not from this host. So if I run that command, straight away Wireshark starts up and uh, we're doing captures. And behind that, the SSH session's open. You can just see TCP dumps output, but the actual output is going through the SSH tunnel piped to the input of Wireshark. So all the Wireshark stuff's coming here to this computer, which is in comfort here under the solar powered aircon. And um, you can do what you want then. Now, if I, as I said, I'm not capturing SSH from this host, but only SSH, like if I ping it, 50 dot, uh, what was it, 101, you'll see the pings come in there. And there we go. And everything else that's coming in there. So if you've only got TCP dump on a remote host, you can still do captures live with Wireshark where you are, okay? You can, of course, save them, like I said, save a file on your uh, remote host just with TCP dump and the W flag and just save a file, then you've got to send it here. But this really isn't that hard, so it makes it easier if you want to uh, be in comfort rather than outdoors. I'll just rescue the Raspberry Pi here. 
All right, I'll leave you with that and hopefully it'll help you out in some situations. I know there was at least one commenter who wanted to do that, so mate, I hope that helps you out. See ya.